Hi, my name is Dr. Stephen Cutchins, and I serve as the Executive Director of Truth That Matters, the Center for Innovative Training here at Southern Evangelical Seminary. And I want to take a moment and thank all of you who have joined us during this 21 days of prayer. This journey has led us to reflect on passages of the Scripture and to hear some incredible stories from all kinds of different people all around the world. And we're praying specifically that you were both encouraged and challenged by this resource and our time together in prayer. I want to especially thank all the people on our team who worked to create the prayer guides and the content, as well as the individuals who agreed to be interviewed so that we could hear their stories. Each one of them was an incredible story. You know, it's not easy. It's not an easy thing to do when you share your story. It often requires vulnerability and courage, and these folks really stepped up to the plate. And each of these stories that you read or heard were from real people. Let me remind you, these are real people who have navigated real challenges in life and in family and even in ministry. So we're thankful for their investment in the lives of those who serve on a daily basis and in the lives of all of us who participated in the 21 days of prayer journey together this fall. And our team, by the way, is intentionally, intentionally placing this 21 day of prayer campaign during the month of September as we're now just days away from our next big event our annual apologetics conference. On October 11 and 12, hundreds of people will gather in Rock Hill, South Carolina for the time of worship and renewal that we've planned at the National Apologetics Conference this year. In fact, it's our 30th anniversary this year. And the best part is it's not too late to get registered for the conference. So as you read in many of the testimonies from the prayer guide, this year's conference, as with previous years, has been an instrumental part of so many people's faith journey. And we're amazed year after year by how God moves through each aspect of the conference in ways that we can't even plan or anticipate. You know, apologetics is an invaluable resource to believers, but it's rarely pursued. But we need to love people enough to answer their hard questions about our faith. And when we take steps toward learning apologetics and learning how to defend our faith, we begin to understand the reason for why we believe what we do. As a result, we're emboldened to share the gospel with our neighbors and our loved ones, those of, that are close to us but far from God. And our faith is deepened and, and strengthened as we obtain evidence-based facts about Christianity. So join us this year. This is your invitation to join us at the annual Apologetics Conference and leave with a new friendship, a fresh energy to serve in your context back home as we attend together and get the resources we need, again, to love people enough to answer their hard questions, the people that are close to you and perhaps far from God. We look forward to seeing you there this year as we celebrate our 30th anniversary of the National Apologetics Conference.